Hello! Data quality and stewardship are easily managed within the Talend Data Stewardship app, giving you the ability to orchestrate data curation and create quality self-service campaigns. Within this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a new campaign, creating a way for my team members to address curation tasks assigned to them within an approval workflow process. Let's get started. I'm logged into the stewardship application as an administrator since only administrators can create and assign campaigns. Simply put, a campaign is designed around who can do what and why. My first step to creating a campaign is to identify the main objective, arbitration, merging, resolution, or grouping. I can then assign tasks or data discrepancies to the data stewards most qualified to address the issue. In this video, I'll create a merging campaign between a variety of sources, including Dunn & Bradstreet, Salesforce, CRM, and a Talent Connect marketing event. But before I can create my campaign, I need to create a data model. A data model is used by the stewardship application to organize the incoming data for my campaign. In the interest of keeping this video brief, I'll show you a data model I've recently created. Within the left panel, I can see a list of attributes that I've added to this model. Each attribute is listed by column name, indicating the necessary order and format of the data within the stewardship application. In the main viewing panel, I can update my data model to define each attribute's type, whether it's a standard type, such as string, integer, date, etc., or a semantic type, like postal code, social security number, or passport. Talent Data Stewardship supports an extensive list of semantic types and even allows you to create your own semantic types. But we will keep it simple for this model. Later, while creating my campaign, I will even be able to identify what data elements from this data model I want available to my stewards while completing their stewardship tasks. With my data model created, I'll now create my new merging campaign. I'll call it US Customer Matching. I'll then indicate that it's a merging campaign. I will define my data sources for my campaign and then assign each source a trust score. Giving Dunn and Bradstreet a 100% score, for example, tells the system to allow the attributes populated from Dunn and Bradstreet to override any other sources listed here. By default, the creator of the campaign is assigned as the campaign owner, but I could always change this or assign additional owners. I must assign data stewards responsible for working on the campaign, and I'm given the ability to create additional roles within this campaign, so I will add and assign a stewardship oversight role and a compliance manager role since I want to implement a multi-step workflow approval process. I have the option to assign each role individual permissions for each attribute within this campaign's data model. For instance, since my data stewards are not qualified to view all private customer information, I'm allowing my stewards to view and edit basic customer information, while my steward oversight role and compliance manager role may have different abilities for each attribute. I can also assign a survivorship rule at the attribute level. Finally, I want to enable the multi-step validation workflow process to my campaign. My stewards will see the new records and resolve them. These resolved records will then go to the stewardship oversight role for approval before the compliance manager can provide final validation. If a task gets rejected anywhere along the validation workflow, it will get sent back to the previous step along the process for further analysis and resolution. And with everything set, I'll click Add Campaign. And my new campaign is now available along with live data, including its type model, current progress, and more. I also now have access to a customizable dashboard where I can monitor campaign progress. As tasks reach the final approval stage, my dashboard will continuously update with each role's activity, average resolution times, among other metrics. I'm free to remove, add, and rearrange my widgets in any way that best serves my needs. And that is how to create a new campaign with a built-in workflow approval process and monitor and track campaign progress. For further demonstrations on how to work with and resolve these tasks, check out other videos on the Talent Resource page. Thanks for watching and please continue watching for more demonstrations of what Talent can do for you.